Born in 1934, Philip Nelson grew up on a 500-acre farm near Morristown, Indiana. He also worked in his family's tomato canning factory, the Blue River Packing Company. The canning operation was seasonal and the tomato crop very perishable, facts that Nelson recalled years later when doing food research. Following graduation from high school, Nelson headed to Purdue, and it was there he met his wife, Sue. Well, there's no doubt my fondest memory was meeting my wife here, her first night on campus, and now we've been married 53 years. After graduation, Nelson returned to the family farm and canning business, but when his father closed Blue River Packing, Nelson headed to Purdue to earn his Ph.D. This led to a 46-year career at the university, where he eventually became the founder of Purdue's Department of Food Science. Uh, you know, food science is new to Purdue. Uh, we didn't have a department here when I came to Purdue. We were scattered in different departments in, in agriculture. And uh, in 1983, uh, President Bering and the trustees, and then Dean Liska, who was dean of the school, decided that there would be a food science department. So we started um, with nine faculty and about 30 students in a building uh, that was built in 1913. So I was named department head, and we began uh, working with industry alums, uh, building our department, and now uh, we're one of the larger food science departments in the country and, of course, have a, have a building that's uh, you know, very new to us, even though it's, it's probably 10 years old now, it still seems new. Dr. Nelson set very high goals for the new food science department. My, my early vision for the department was to um, be the best, and, and we argued over our, our vision statement, would we be a leading a food science department or the leading food science department worldwide and um, our decision was to be the leading not a leading food science department. One of Nelson's major accomplishments was the development of aseptic processing. This technology allows crops like tomatoes and oranges to be stored for long periods and transported in bulk around the world. This bag-in-a-box technology has revolutionized global food trade. There we go. And here we go, a bag that's been filled with sterile product and will now be distributed um, around the world. Aseptic containers may range in size from 300 gallon plastic bags to a 1.8 million gallon aseptic tank on a ship. Nelson's breakthrough earned him the 2007 World Food Prize, often called the Nobel Prize of Agriculture, and he received it during a ceremony in Des Moines, Iowa. I'm very appreciative of this award, but it, it, it also makes an obligation because now you feel like that you have this opportunity uh, to make a difference, uh, a bigger difference. And so uh, not ready to retire quite yet, so I'm still out there knocking on doors. <laughs>